how do you not see that you are being pranked so fucking hard right now? Let's think. Which of these two groups of people is most likely to be dressed like a duck in a YouTube video? Harvard scientists or professional YouTube trolls? Take your pick, Nathan. It's a multiple choice question. And you've got a 50% chance of getting it right. Can you concede that was a false dichotomy fallacy? It's like, not a false dichotomy. Jim, you're not listening to what I'm saying. <laughs> For the question, it was a no, false you didn't. But you are so boring. I don't claim. Well, then fuck oh, off, Nathan. I gotta talk over. I can't let him answer. <laughs> answer the question. Which are they? Answer my false dichotomy fallacy. It's not a false dichotomy. Uh, even according to why you. Why are you so triggered, Jim? I'm not triggered, Nathan. Why are you talking like this? I was in the middle of talking, Jim. Oh, okay, go ahead. What he presented was a false dichotomy fallacy. It's definitely a false dichotomy fallacy. Nathan, Nathan made me look stupid. I'm just asking you what you thought they were. Just answer the question. How you feel. If you don't, yep. if you don't think yourself. it's one of those choices, you've got nothing you to do to say. No need for me to interrupt you. I've just muted you. Now, off you fuck. Go on, fuck off. There you go. Oh, well, I guess it's time for Ben Blake. Uh, we gotta sleep right here. Keep it flat. Keep it flat. Do you guys want to hear the best part? Do you guys want to hear the best part? Hold on. I'll share the best part one second. They're calling me. Hey, yo. All right, all right. Guys, <laughs> the best part. Here's the best part. He got dumped by his flat earth girlfriend. She goes, I thought I told you to stop texting me. That's the first thing she said to him. I was dying laughing. I was like, oh, this isn't going to be good. This is not going to be good. So he FaceTimes her, right? I start popping my head in the video. And she goes, I've seen your YouTube videos, Nathan. Yes. And he goes, can we make it a date? And she said, yes. And guys, I literally wanted to cry, dude. I wanted to cry. You can't write that stuff, guys. I saw her face, bro. I'm just having my freaking world rock right now, dude. Like, so hard. I gotta go film, dude. I'll talk to you guys soon. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Nathan, you are being pranked by pranksters. The flat earthers are seeing what the globe earthers are saying about us. Oh, but Nathan's in there, luckily. Oh. Do you think there's any chance that these guys were trolling Nathan? No, they're cool, bro. Our director got shocked from like 10 feet away from the magnet, bro. It was like. <laughs> He was immediately like, dude, the suit saved my life. He was super stoked about the duck suit. There's a uh, kind of a weird vibe that people are getting that they're they're trying to just give a long troll to you. Oh, like yeah, I, was... I wish, bro. I wish, dude. You people think I'm so stupid, I wouldn't be able to tell when Harvard students are trolling. Me, I, I, I like... think people are concerned, like, that it's a prank. Our documentary's legit, bro. We they're saying um, that these guys are prankster. They're supposed to be called Reckless, Reckless Ben. I'm not sure if it's him. I, I, I don't know. I'm just saying uh, that's what um, the opposition, that's their story anyway. If you'd have done flat earth style research and jumped on YouTube to look up these two idiots, you would have saw they had a prank channel. Period. This is me telling you as a globe earther, this is a joke. I'm really good at Tell if someone's lying or not. I don't know you can tell when you're getting trolled. You're definitely like from Harvard, bro. I've got no troll feelings at all. I think it wasn't troll. This looks legit. That's what we are. We, we're skeptical into reacting shows <laughs> ever. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Oh, dude, you can always get on Flat Earthers to know the truth, dude. The truth is Flat Earth. Yeah, dude. That's all they got, man. Friggin' retards. You guys think you're funny. You're not. You're just dumb. <laughs> We're pretty much hardcore flat earthers at this point, so we're trying to spread awareness. Flat earth is the way to go. Everyone in the community is super triggered by everything you guys are doing. They think you guys are trolling me, that these guys might not even be Harvard students, that that wasn't Guinness. The duck suits triggered everyone. All right, should we go? Yeah, let's, let's get a vest, dude. I can't wait to see Nathan. <laughs> with a Guinness World Record. Yeah. Yeah. And now they're flat earthers, so. Dude, you're Sammy Baptista? I've heard of yeah. you, bro. I've heard of you. If the Earth was a globe, the horizon would be dropping 
tangent to your feet vertically in every direction and that's not what we observe. What's this happening in the boat societies, dude? I'm nervous, man. Oh my gosh. What? The round earth community is literally just brainwashing the flat earth community right now, dude. The globe heads, they just brainwash the flat earthers to think that they're wrong. Well, they look like zombies. It's dude. so clear, it's like I'm watching a cartoon. Turns out that he's an internet prankster, a YouTube prankster. His name is Reckless Ben. This is what he does. He's not a Harvard student. So it was a prank. Oh, Nathan got fooled, therefore the earth does not fly. It's all fabrication, production, creation. I just thought Nathan would get it right. I mean, I don't know. What a scammer. The channel is full of infiltrating Scientology shit. Apparently, I look exactly like this big YouTuber who recently infiltrated Scientology. Now everyone's confusing us for the same person. I have a question for you, Nathan. Do I look like a reckless Ben? I even tried to go on a podcast to share the new findings. And Is that yeah. Reckless Ben? He looks a lot less reckless than that sweatshirt. Reckless Ben's some weird YouTuber, I guess. Yeah. No, I'm Stan Fisher from Harvard. Harvard. Couldn't be you. You dropped $30 in Harvard merch on Amazon. <laughs> reckless hey, Ben? Bitch, have you never <laughs> seen a dick bat? Ben Fisher. What's a dick bat? You couldn't be Reckless Ben. Reckless Ben puts out really shitty content. <laughs> Reckless Harvard Ben. I came to California to prove that the Earth is round, and in doing so, I actually proved that the Earth is flat. You proved that the Earth was flat? With magnets. Who cooked up this shit? It's called Flat Earth by the Travel no, Channel. No, none of this. It really is frustrating, though, when you make a big discovery like this, and the people that run the podcast don't even listen to you because you look similar to a guy that puts pranks on YouTube. It's really annoying that I'm putting so much into the Flat Earth community now, and I'm just getting ridiculed. I guess he's walking around with some sort of dirty diaper asking people to change his diaper. They thought that that was pretty trolly. I made a poopy whoopy. Can you change my diaper? My, my parents have always been really, have always felt strongly about my education, but I've always had a passion for acting and comedy and drama and theater. Yeah, you guys found my YouTube channel. I make YouTube videos for fun under an alias of Blake Rozier. Still want to create, but I want I don't want my parents to find out about it. And it actually kind of pisses me off. I didn't mean to have these findings. Oh, they're just prank videos. They're just kind of goofy, you know, but... They're dumb as fuck. It's just fun. I'm not going to hold it against them. You know, everyone's got a past. They misspelled official. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They misspelled, they misspelled the word official. official. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they apparently spelled stuff wrong. The word official really? has one F. Yeah. Oh my god. So Did were... you guys contact them? He, he thinks it's real. It's so bizarre. They graduated from Harvard. So the first thing I would recommend doing now that you guys are open to Flat Earth and looking into it is call some friends, some family, your parents, and just let them know, hey, I think we're being lied to about the shape of the Earth. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. I believe that the Earth is flat now. Honey, are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Are you, are you proud of me? I, what are you talking about? Don't tell, don't tell dad. <laughs> don't tell dad. I won't tell anybody, honey. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, it just felt weird to do. Isn't that weird that there is such a stigma against being a flat earther? Step two would just be look more into things. What else are we being lied to? There's a lot going on that we gotta talk to Ben and Blake about. If we came from chimps, then all the chimps in the zoo would eventually turn into people. So in millions of years, you would have to free the chimps in the zoo because they're now people. Keeping people caged up would be considered human trafficking, right? Yeah. So, I mean, do you think after millions of years, the monkeys in the zoo are gonna turn into people? That's what the evolution theory states. And that would be torture or human trafficking. Uh, number three, we could definitely share with uh, some people and I'll show you guys how easy it is. You guys ever met a flat earther? All right, I'll be, I'll be the first. I've been sharing flat earth for quite some time. I think the most effective way is to just be complimentary and genuine with your compliments. That guy has a globe cartoon on the back of his shirt. How embarrassing. That is so embarrassing. Oh! That was super embarrassing. Look at this globe falling on his ass. People love hearing nice things about themselves. Your shirt says you are a lost cause. Red baby globe heads, around in circles. What a goofball. Here's Robin. Nathan found a megaphone. Is this the best way to get the information out there, you think? Just sharing. Yeah. Sharing is caring. It's actually not that hard. 
I am having fun spreading our discovery that the Earth is flat. However, it is getting a little bit repetitive. Large bodies of water do not curve. 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 Large bodies of water, do Large bodies of water don't curve. Large bodies of water. Do not curve. Large bodies of water don't curve. Large bodies of water don't curve. Large bodies of water don't curve. Large bodies of water do not curve. Large bodies of water do not curve. That was cool. It seems almost as if no one's even listening to what we're saying. What Nathan believes is that we're going after an audience that's already been brainwashed. The kids are way more open than adults, guys. Right? They are really? so open. Every kid knows the earth is flat. You gotta convince kids that they will want to spin it all. I call it red pill the youth. Get on some bikes and red pill the youth. I was super excited to go red pill the youth with Nathan, but he saw one of his favorite celebrities, Simon, and of course, we had to go talk to him before we went red pill. Hey Simon, you ever met a flat earther? Uh, I don't believe in that shit. Not a belief, you can test it. I don't want to be on camera, but See you later. You. Simon was not interested in hearing about Flat Earth, and I could tell it was crushing Nathan like Brianna crushed me. Later, Simon. No big deal. Not everyone's going to be interested, so what? You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's go Red Pill the Youth. Red Pill the Youth. Hey, then come over here! Large bodies of water do not curve. This guy's a nightmare. Space is fake. Astronauts are liars. Nathan, come liars. this way! Pools and pools. This way! Yep. Alright, let's keep it moving. Yeah, out the room! Out, out. What do you think that? So, based on the conclusion yesterday, it's not right. It's really good, bro. Ever since this Herbert bullshit, now even the idiots think he's a fucking jester. It's pretty much everyone against Nathan Thompson now. The Globe Earthers have somehow convinced even the Flat Earthers that what we're doing is just a giant prank. Oh, you got pranked. No, bro. Joke's on you, not me. So, cool story, Craig. That's why Nathan's so smart. Even though everyone's taking all of this evidence and they're showing it to him right in his face, he still continues to reject it because he knows what's actually true. Look at their YouTube channel, both of them. That guy, Blake. I didn't know they had YouTube channels. No, I know, right. I know. I'm not and saying that, Nathan. Them about it Nathan, today. why? Why would you not think that if that's what Because I've looked into their eyes, and when you look mm. in someone's eyes, you can see their soul. Uh, you know, think you are, Nathan. I mean, there are freaking pranksters. It's everything. It's the fact Guinness came out with a world record that they misspelled the word official. Cool story. It's the fact these guys are mad embarrassed to tell their parents. They're legit uh. nerds that like are super socially awkward. So anyone can believe anything they want. But what's say. cool is I know I'm right. And I've always been right. Okay. That's why I'm fucking Nathan Thompson. Uh, right. yeah, you, guys get it? you guys get it? I don't give a about your argument. You guys haven't been there. All these people are just speculating, dude. They weren't here. They weren't looking anybody in the eyes. We're really pissed off right now because we feel like we've done so much good for the flat earth community. And the fact that they're like ridiculing us and calling us fakers and pranksters is- Oh shit! So we're heading to Nathan's hotel right now so we can meet with him and, and see what's really going on. Why don't we get a hotel this nice? This place is sick, dude. <laughs> this place. fucking foyer. Lucky boy. I don't believe in luck, Like. Uh, I did want to drink a sour with these guys for the first time because they probably never had a sour. Try that, bro. Cheers. 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 He's just drinking water. He's just drinking Oh, fuck. That's strong, dude. <laughs> that's strong shit, dude. Right There's on. people on the internet that think that whole thing is like a plot. And I'm like, if it is, brilliant. 
Like, I, I'm not giving you guys enough credit. What? If this is all staged, because the, oh. love, the love story is brilliant. <laughs> Bro, I love the love story. Bro, it's my life. It's not a story. I can tell. <laughs> I can tell you're genuinely in love with her. Yeah. Hopefully. How long has it been since you've seen her? Well, we broke up three days. So, four days ago. And so I hope you guys get married. Dude. Could I be there? Dude, you better I, invite me to your wedding party. I've, I've thought about it, dude. Oh. <laughs> but, like, have you thought about the potential of, like, what, what could be on the other side? It could be. Hell, but hell was not made for humans. That's the story I believe, just so you guys know. And then, the, and then they tried to build the Tower of Babel, which makes no sense on a globe, because if we're on a ball fucking span in space, you can't build a tower to heaven. And God was like, we have to stop this, because it's real. Like, they, they, they would have gotten to the container. What? So, oh like, they were so committed to the construction that if you hauled a brick up the Tower of Babel, they would cry if one fell off the tower. But people, it's like no big deal. I would cry if a human fell, because then a human could carry like 30 more bricks, right? Exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly. So they're, crying, they're crying for the wrong reasons. The lie is so dumb. It's so obvious. It's so blatant. Do you guys feel like you're spinning right now? No. No. I think you had too many of those uh, sours. No. I thought David was dead. I heard it. I was like, yeah. I was like, holy shit. Shit, what just happened? I, I really want the ridicule to be over. Okay, if we had proved you wrong, they would have been pissed. If we agree with you, they're pissed. So okay. I'm like, what the fuck? So that's what I'm saying, bro. I tell us, I say this all the time. I've got a quote, you guys, just so you know. You can't please all the flat earthers all the time. Bob, tomorrow, he's a pilot, flat earther, he runs Globusters. He wants to interview you guys, and I can't wait. It's probably the largest flat earth channel. Whoa, whoa, Nathan, are you in here? Like I said, dude, I ain't buying this. This experiment does not sound tenable to me at all. This is a prank. I'm gonna call him out on it big time. Go ahead, here's Michael, here's the chief editor. All of your questions, concerns, comments, you will have your chance to ask everything that you want there. Okay, fair enough. Beautiful. That's I can't really ask for any more than that. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Yes, we will figure it out tomorrow then. I will do a Globusters on it. It's gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, this ought to be good. Like, I have a really good sense of discernment, guys. I would know. Be able to figure it out pretty quick, whether or not they know what they're talking about. I'm looking forward to the interview tomorrow. I know it'll be good, Bob. Ben and Blake are cool, bro. Everyone's freaking tripping. I like these guys, dude. They're gonna come on Globusters tomorrow? Yeah. It is complete bullshit. I think I'll be able to figure out the electrical engineer in about two seconds. They've already agreed to come on the panel of Globusters. I just don't even understand how that can work in a massive, elaborate production. I know one thing, maybe they come on that show. It can't, they, they're not gonna come on there and troll us. Today, Ben and Blake are gonna be on the Globusters podcast. If they aren't, what is likely to happen? Oh, we're gonna burn them at the stake. Welcome everybody to Globusters.